In this video, I will show how I built a vivarium. The video will focus on the main structure, with other features in subsequent videos. Most of the wood used in this project is from an old deck railing. I disassembled it during the winter. After removing all the screws, the holes were filled with wood filler. After the wood filler dried, I sanded down all the pieces. I didn't have enough long beams for the bottom tray. I spliced two pieces together using a lap joint. All the pieces was then cut to size. I routed grooves in all the beams to fit the windows. Wider grooves were routed in the long beams to fit the sliding doors in the front and back. The edges of the grooves were tapered slightly using a hand plane. Next, all the holes were drilled and countersunk. For the base, I used 15mm Baltic birch plywood. I could only get to the right size by cutting two pieces that were to be joined at the middle. More holes were drilled and stain was applied to the one side. I assembled the top frame first. In some places the grooves were extended by hand for the glass to fit later on. Once I was happy with the top frame, I glued the pieces together. The rest of the vivarium was then fitted together. A piece of plywood was used as placeholder to ensure the glass would fit. The same pieces of plywood were used to check that the sliding doors would later on open and close smoothly. The bottom was fitted in place with a bunch of screws. The hole at the back was cut to mount a small perspex window. Through this window a lot of the plumbing and electronics were to be mounted. More grooves were cut at several places to fit wires later on. Most of the structure was disassembled and stained with sanding in between stains. Large holes were made to fit ventilation pipes. Everything was reassembled and glued into place this time. By now I had the glass doors and could check how they fit. The screws were hidden with wood filler and the wood filler was stained to blend in with the rest of the structure. Everything was sealed with two-part epoxy. I started by mounting the small window. All the parts were covered with several layers of epoxy. Strips of fiberglass cloth were epoxied into the edges to ensure the base was watertight. The outside was finished with clear lacquer. Finally, I painted the base black. 40 liters of water were added to the base and this was left for two days to see if there were any leaks. At this stage, the main structure of the vivarium was completed and we moved it into the room where it will stand. While building the main structure, I was working on many other parts of the vivarium. These will be featured in other videos and include things like building the lid, 
fitting the glass, adding the handles, wiring everything up to the Raspberry controller, planting the plants and many other aspects. Thanks for watching.